Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Tuesday, July 31st, 2019. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A pro-gay, pro-contraception priest will be among the most prominent members of the revamped John Paul II Institute. Father Maurizio Chiodi, who currently teaches in Milan, is being viewed as a favorite to lead the Department in Moral Theology at the Institute. Even though he stated that married couples can, in good conscience, use contraception, and has made statements affirming homosexuality, both directly contrary to Catholic doctrine. The news comes a week after a shakeup at the Institute, where Pope Francis abruptly dismissed all the professors. The Chicago Archdiocese is blaming unfulfilled pledges for its shortfall of nearly $200 million in its education fund. After the Chicago Tribune published an expose this week revealing that a $427 million fundraiser for Catholic education was missing many millions of dollars, the Archdiocese sent a letter to parishes claiming the reason for the missing money is because people haven't yet sent in all the money they've pledged. The letter acknowledged the single biggest financial challenge for the Archdiocese is paying off sex abuse settlements, which have cost Chicago hundreds of millions of dollars. Democrats met in Detroit last night for the first of two debates for the 2020 presidential nomination. The lineup of 10 included Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, Pete Buttigieg, and Beto O'Rourke, along with other lesser known candidates, with Buttigieg establishing himself as the most radical left candidate among the lot. Pro-life protesters were on the scene outside the Fox Theater where the debates were being held. The debates and the protests will continue tonight. Muslim terrorists have aired a video showing six kidnapped Christian aid workers begging for their lives. I begged the Nigerian in our organization, Action Against Hunger, should please do something and see that we are released. Thank you. The individuals work for humanitarian group Action Against Hunger, which offers food to poor communities around the world. Boko Haram is believed to be behind the kidnapping. Heartbeat pro-life bills are working their way closer to the U.S. Supreme Court. Yesterday, Planned Parenthood and the ACLU filed a complaint against Missouri's eight-week abortion ban, making it the sixth state heartbeat bill to be challenged in court. Their legal challenges also happening in Ohio, Kentucky, Louisiana, Georgia, and Mississippi. But pro-lifers are counting on opposition so that the question ultimately makes it to the high court, where they hope Roe v. Wade will eventually be overturned. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today. Michael talks about the world following the church. God bless you.